Woo! Hey everyone, this is Dara from Daily Crypto Trade Singles coming to you live, live from Vietnam, guys. We've got lots to talk about. Looks like Jeremy Powell has just, uh, you know, finished giving his testimony out there. So we're going to talk about that and what the implications are on crypto. And we're going to talk about some huge catalysts for Dogecoin and cryptocurrency in general. And uh, looks like the Debbie Downer Bear is back in town, guys. And you know what that means? It means that the wow. Wow, you see the anger there, the anger there, the, the dinosaur just got attacked by the Debbie Donner bear, and we got the alien here to keep the peace, and uh, guys and gals, so uh, it's not looking too good, we're seeing that uh, right now, that itty bitty baby is going down, de -de 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 down, tank itty tank tank out there, and remember now this is financial advice, just the OG and now it's expressing its opinion, so right now we're seeing the Bitcoin on the, on the heat heat map guys, is, uh, I mean I'm blind, I'm blind, the glare, the glare, oh, I'm just blind, so we're seeing that Ethereum is getting slaughtered, hammer time, hammer Hammer time, hammer time. And remember, none of this is financial advice. I'm not a licensed financial advisor. I'm only just expressing my opinion. This is for educational purpose in case I didn't say that. In case I didn't say that and I forgot to say that. And oh, by the way, boop the likes, subscribe, eat YB, check out the links, guys, and show some love with Super Chats. So we're seeing that, uh, you know, basically it's hammer time out there. You know, we're seeing cryptocurrency going down. Uh, we're seeing that the uh, New York markets are open, like open now. And we're seeing that uh, the markets are going down, did -de 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 down, down as well. So, you know, I was expecting that the, ma the markets would turn green after to Jeremy Powell, you know, uh, did uh, did uh, talk to Congress. So it looks like Powell tells Congress that the Fed is strongly committed to bringing inflation down. So it looks like, I guess, uh, by the reaction of the markets, not too many people believe in what he said out there. So, you know, uh, the uh, basically the. Federal Reserve Chairman Powell told congressional lawmakers Wednesday the central bank is determined determined to bring down inflation. Uh, they're going to be you know continuing their 75 basis uh, hike uh, in July. So that's nothing new. That's not something that we didn't uh, know. But they also acknowledge that the inflation is running too hot, 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 too hot to handle, and that it needs to come down. Oh, really? Tell me something we don't know. Uh, you know what I mean? So you know it's like you know state the obvious, uh, but do nothing about it. That's kind of life and how they do things, right? So, and then uh, Jeremy Powell continued to say yada yada yada. Uh, you know, a lot of uh, you know a lot of uh, poopo schmatter speak. And then he says we antici anticipate that the ongoing rate increases will be appropriate. Uh, appropriate. Uh, the pace of, of those changes will continue to depend on incoming data and evolving outlook uh, for the economy. So basically, they're going to monitor the situation and they're basically going to increase the um, the interest rates based on the data that they're getting. So it's not going to be a preempt they're not going to give a preemptive solution to the problem it's going to be a reaction to the problem so it's going to be like a knee-jerk reaction so it's not like they can they, they don't they don't have a solution for the problem they're just going to it's going to be knee-jerk it's like oh the, the inflation is going down okay they're going to do this so they don't have really a plan to stand out there it's just going to be all uh, reactionary i think from my perspective so that's what's going on from that point of view so it kind of went on this whole long tirade so really nothing new out there uh basically said yeah inflation is hot, it's running rampant, we know that we, they're going to be increasing the interest rate. So nothing new out there, absolutely nothing new out there. So some news that's coming in right now. Uh, this is a, a pretty good catalyst uh, for Doge and Shiba Inu. Uh, basically it looks like a uh, and so it looks like a you know big luxury uh, maker uh, Hobot out there, uh, Hobolot, 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 whatever, whatever, whatever that name is. I don't own one of these things. Uh, I mean, for me, I. I'm an Apple Watch guy. I do have a couple of Bella Watch Ross's, uh, Bella Ross watches out there, and but the Philip. But you know, for me, all that money I spent on expensive luxury watches. Yeah, this is the one for me. You know, and uh, it's just a shame that a lot of people are realizing that you know. People not buying luxury watches anymore because you know the old luxury watches they don't do anything. So, anyways, getting back to the getting back to crypto. Uh, basically, uh, Hobolot, Hobolot, uh, you can now use uh, Dogecoin and uh, Shiba Inu and, and whatever you want through third-party BitPay. So that's a kind of a bit of a catalyst. And remember that Hobolot is uh, owned by LVMH, which is Louis Vuitton and all those uh, luxury brands out there. So you know the Weefy Wifeys they love the luxury brands, but uh, for us, man, we like to you know wear our old sneakers because they're comfortable guys and gals so that's a bit of a huge catalyst out there so that's kind of some good news uh what else is coming in good news it's like crypto.com wins in principle payment license approval from singapore regular so that is good news so it looks like the major exchanges in line to receive a major uh, payment institutional license from the uh, the monetary fund so that's going to allow them to expand their services to cover digital payment tokens to facilitate and grant uh when the license is granted so that's pretty good for them two other countries genesis and power tech also received similar regulatory knowledge so it looks like crypto.com is going to be expanding to Singapore and they're going to be able to, you know, 
offer credit cards and all that kind of stuff. So that's pretty good uh, for crypto.com. So that's some pretty good news out there. Looks like a U.S. Secretary Commission says a no, no to crypto bailout. So this is from uh, our Debbie Downer out there, uh, Hester Pierce, and she kind of opposes uh, bailouts and uh you know fund injections to to block and all that stuff goes so she's kind of basically saying you know let dead dogs lie and uh you know let them get wrecked and let them go out of town but she, you know one thing that she forgot to to realize is that if we don't bail out these companies uh, the individual holders, you know, Joe Public and Joe Nancy out there, they're going to be losing their life savings. So I think, uh, yeah, I think uh, Hester Pierce, you need to wake up and stop being so mean out there and realize it's not about the company going bankrupt. It's not about the company being insolvent. It's about that we need them to be bailed out so the users out there can take their funds out, uh, like Celsius. The Celsius needs to, needs to be bailed out so we can all do a bank run on Celsius and take our money out. That's what we want, right? I mean, luckily the OG uh, took out all my um, uh, crypto from Celsius 24 hours before the collapse. So I'd be crying. I'd be crying, guys. I had a ton of Bitcoin on there. So that brings me to, to a major, major point. Listen to what I got to say. Are you listening? You out there, are you listening? Get your crypto off exchanges right now. Right, right, right now. Move on to hardware wallets or software wallet where you own the private keys because if you don't own the private keys you don't own the crypto and remember read the fine print the terms and condition of all these centralized exchanges and all of these uh, you know intermediaries like uh, celsius that are kind of like you know borrowers and lenders in between uh, in, in between DeFi guys remember if they go under you lose your crypto guys so move your crypto off exchanges do it now please 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 sure in the bull run yeah move it back on no problem because you know we got no, no problems but when we're when we're in a bear cycle like this and things are going down some exchanges can fail we've seen three arrows we've seen celsius we've seen BlockFi just got bailed out by ftx if they didn't get bailed out What's going to happen, guys? What is going to happen? Voyager got uh, bailed out by Am 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 Aminoka bands, or I can't even say that. You know what I'm talking about. So Voyager also got bailed out too. So, you know, if these companies didn't get bailed out, bailed out, they would be going the same way as Celsius, guys, and all the people that have their currency, on, uh, their crypto on the platform. So if you are holding your uh, currency on Block 5, Voyager, or any of these, I recommend you know taking it out and holding it in a crypto wallet guys just be safe out there and then you know when the bull market comes up then then fine then fine then you put it back on there that's fine so it looks like Binance uh, US is cutting Bitcoin trading fees to zero for some selected pairs so that's pretty bullish uh, it seems that they just want to uh, you know, it seems it seems that they wanted uh, they want to uh, kind of increase the trading in the U.S. So that's pretty good from that perspective. So there's a lot of bullish news out there. Uh, also, looks like uh, Hubei Hubei accuses former senior manager of making five million via illegal trades. So it looks like uh, this guy, this one-time senior manager and prominent uh, crypto exchange Hubei, has been accused of raking in five million dollars in tether by secretly trading against a company account. So this guy Chen Bo Ling, uh, the former employee, is being prosecuted in Hong Kong for alleg allegedly, uh, you know, alleg alleged illegal trades that he made uh, between February and March 2022. So basically what he did is he basically set up a, a retail account for in his father's name and provided it with $20 million in credit. So that's what he did. Wow, wow, woo, woo, woo. That is crazy. And he thought he wasn't going to get caught. So he got caught, you know, basically... If you steal, you're gonna get caught eventually. So a city to launch a Bitcoin custody service for institutional investors. So this is good. This is a mainstream bank saying yes to crypto and they're gonna be uh, offering a Bitcoin custody service. So that is pretty good. That's only gonna be for large institutional uh, investors. You know, it's not gonna be like you and me, uh, you know, with 10 or 20 uh, Bitcoin, you have to like hundreds and thousands of Bitcoin. So keep that in mind, guys. So it looks like, uh, it looks like this from Red Capital in the house and he's saying that uh, uh, we, we, need, uh, we need BTC to break above the two 2000, uh, 22,500 level for a chance for reclaiming the 200 weekly moving average support. So, you know, a lot, uh, you know, the, we saw that uh, TA analyst, he did say in my previous video that in about seven to 84 days, we could see a bull run, guys, and uh, definitely we could be seeing ourselves making some momentum to the upside. So, let's take a look at uh, Bitcoin right now. So, Bitcoin is a trading at 20,639, and I got a feeling that, you know, the markets are going to start. Yep, there we go. So, the markets are starting to go green right now. So, that is pretty good. So, hopefully, by the time you're watching this you're going to see the broader markets going up that is pretty good because i think the jeremy powell thing was kind of neutral out there he kind of just stated the obvious telling us what we already know so that didn't bring the markets down so that's pretty good
good. So hopefully we'll see Itty Bitty Baby back up above uh, $21,000, guys. Did I tell you to go boop the likes? Boop the likes, smash the likes, check out the links, and don't forget to subscribe, give Super Chats, I would really appreciate it. So we're seeing that, that Bitcoin on the daily right now is at 20675 I got a feeling we are definitely gonna be going up above 21000 so that's pretty good. So that is good news, and we're gonna to start to see the volume, both, uh, the volume start to in increase uh, for crypto and also broader markets as well. So that is gonna be pretty good in the house, guys. So it looks like, uh, you know, we got this little bit of a doji candle spinning top, so the market's still on the side, but I think we're gonna get some pumpage out there so that is pretty good uh, from that perspective. So we're seeing also on the weekly right now, we're just uh, barely above the uh, minor capitulation. And I did tell you that in May, most miners sold off all of their Bitcoin harvest. And it looks like uh, June, they're gonna be selling off most of their Bitcoin that they've made as well. And you know, the minor capitulation line, we're getting pretty close uh, to the, uh, you know, the cost, the cost point of mining uh, Bitcoin. So we're seeing more and more miners turning off their machines. But we've seen in the past that when the miners start to sell their Bitcoin that they have mined, this is often about this is often a huge bottom indicator. I don't know what's wrong with me. I've been tongue-tied lately. I think it's all the sun I've been getting. The sun is baking my brain. I've been baked by, by all the sun out there. I mean, I went swimming today. I mean, basically my, my day is like I get up, I take the kid to the pool upstairs. I do, uh, you know, I swim like half a, half a kilometer. I don't know what that is, in miles. You know, I gotta keep the keep the looks, gotta keep the, keep the heart pumping. And, and that's what I do and I hang around there till lunchtime and uh, then come down, get some lunch hang out with the kid, you know, do a little bit of this, or do a little bit of that. And that's kind of basically what I do most days, guys. Uh, and then, you know, take a look at the companies I manage and make sure that uh, no one's going nuts out there uh, from that perspective. So that's what I'm doing. So we're seeing right now that uh, on the weekly, we definitely need to get ourselves above 21,000. I think we're gonna do it. So hopefully by the time you're watching this, we're above 21,000. Now, right now, for the price of Dogecoin, we're seeing Dogecoin is at uh, just over six cents right now. And, uh, you know, I've drawn this upward trend line. I think Doge is gonna probably honor that. It all depends on Bitcoin, but things are looking okay right now. Uh, from from that perspective. Uh, this also coming in, looks like a bullish cipher harmonic pattern in the house. The uh, cipher harmonic pattern indicates a price action reversal. Note that RSI uh, is at an all time low on the monthly time frame. And so he's predicting that we could be seeing these targets coming in, these different Fibonacci targets, and these kind of correspond with the 24, the 30,000, 36,000, and a peak at around 74,000. So the best, best areas to take profit is at A, B, and C. And right now we're in, right now we're in D phase, so it looks like we have potential blast off targets, and we're seeing that the RSI is at an all-time low. So we got a whole bunch of indicators that says that we're pretty close to the bottom. We're definitely closer to the bottom than we are to the tops, right guys? Boom, smash the likes. Hashtag, do you think Bitcoin bottom is in? I'd love to hear what you're gonna say. Comment, comment, comment up a storm, and you can comment more than once, guys. So I think we're gonna get a reversal coming in pretty soon. Uh, Justin, uh, Fed Chair Jeremy Powell says, America economy is very strong. So that is one of the reasons why we're seeing the market start to turn green right now. So it looks like we're getting closer and closer to things turning green, so that's pretty good. Thank you, Jeremy, for not tanking, tanking the markets like you usually do out there, brother. Uh, so from that perspective, uh, we can see that, uh, you know, the cycle beginning of a new cycle is indicated by the low RSI and the S&P 500. So I did talk about this last time, but you can see here that every time we have the bear market, uh, we often have a bottom in indicator on the S&P where the RSI is very low. And then we have a swing up to the cycle top, bear market, uh, then we have a, a market uh, bottom and the RSI and S&P is low. And we're seeing pretty much the same pattern here. So we should get a swing up to the top side pretty soon. So hopefully we're gonna get that reversal coming in soon, guys, from that perspective. Let's take a look at, uh, let's take a look at the uh, Bitcoin doms right now. It's a 44.37 in the house. So it is coming down. It is absolutely coming down. Um, you know, we were over, we were pretty close to almost like 48%. So we've come down about 4% right now. So that's pretty good. The DXY is still just kind of going sideways doing the crabby crabby walk and we need the dxy to come down let's take a look at the leverage apes out there the leverage apers out there to get rid of the pop-up so we're seeing right now that we have about 161 million uh, about 71,000 apozoids getting wreckety wreck wreck they never learn and let's take a look at the uh, so we're seeing more shorts picking up right now so it's kind of weird we got a lot of shorts picking up right now but we're seeing that the bitcoin price is still a little bit depressed out there but it is it is coming up it is absolutely coming up so hopefully that will continue and we're going to see that biddy will hit $21,000 pretty soon so from that perspective we're seeing ethereum right now is that uh, it's gone up from my previous video it was 
was like uh, you know 1,080 bucks. So it's coming up as well. It's at uh, you know 1,113 dollars. Hopefully, we can get ourselves above the 1,200 dollar level. And uh, let's let's take a look at ADA in the house right now. So ADA is also going sideways right now a little bit. It's at 47, uh, almost 48 cents. So that is not too bad from that perspective. It's looking okay. Did I miss anything? Let's a Doge. We got we got that. We covered all of that. Everything's looking pretty good. Uh, dominance, yes. That is looking okay. Yes, Ethereum. So we cover everything and let's get it. Let's jump in the Shibi Weeby Weeby right now. So we're seeing that Shibi Weeby is at a bunch of zeros and 10 right now. And we have this huge descending triangle here. We've broken out of the apex here and you can see that we have some support around about zero seven. So that is looking pretty good from that perspective. So we have broken out of the apex and you know, we do have the spinning top doji candle. So it's basically the buyers and sellers. They don't know which direction it's gonna go. So keep on keeping on from that perspective. So that's gonna bring this video to a close. Let's take a look at the total marketing cap cap. We're seeing the total market cap right now is at 919 billion. The, uh, the volumes are light right now, 47.89 billion. The Bitcoin dollars at 42.84. So from the cryptocurrency perspective, it's kind of mixed right now. Uh, mainly, mainly red out there. We are seeing some outliers that are green. Uh, Doge, is, Doge is down. So, but on the weekly, things are looking pretty green from that perspective. So guys, just hold on. Don't wet the bed. Don't blow your load. Do not panic sell. Guys, uh, keep on holding for life changing wealth. So it's definitely going to be coming, guys. So from that perspective, uh, do follow me on my Twitter, guys. Go down there, book the likes, check out all the linky winkies out there, subscribe. And if you have been watching and you haven't subscribed, I'm calling y'all, subscribe, subscribe. Get it right now, guys. And don't forget to go and check out all the merch, guys. Get the merch, gear up with the OG merch. I just want to say God bless each and every one of you out there. I love you guys. I love you, love you, love you. Love you, love it. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace out.